What is up, everybody? Let's talk Jets radio, recapping a New York Jets victory over the Buffalo Bills. The Jets are 6-3 and three heading into the bye week. What a time to be alive. What a time to be inside that stadium. Absolutely rocking in the fourth quarter. You know, early on in that game, you had such terrible, uh, such terrible vibes. The Bill fans absolutely either outnumbered or equaled the Jet fans early on in that game. Jet fans, as usual, tough time shutting down the grills. Came in a little bit late. Once we got going, though, that second half, we were absolutely rocking. I missed atmospheres like that. That was exactly what I expected to happen last week. A close, tight game late where the crowd just takes over in the fourth quarter, and that's exactly what happened. That defense, what they did to Josh Allen today, that's a playoff caliber defense. I don't want to hear any more shit about the Jets are rebuilding. It's not about this year. Fuck that. Fuck that. That defense is playoff caliber now. They are ready to compete now for the playoffs. And shout out to the offense. Shout out to LaFleur. Shout out to the offensive line. To Carter. To James Robinson. But a very special shout out. Zach Wilson. Way to step the fuck up. Today, Zach Wilson's balls dropped. That was his coming to the NFL moment. That was his best game as a New York Jet period. For me, it's always been about the completion percentage. I keep saying it week after week. If that area doesn't improve, I don't know how anything else improves. The fact that at one point in this game, I, I think he was 16 of 20 or 17 of 22. The fact that he simply executed the offense. He made smart throws. He kept the chains moving. He did absolutely everything that the Jets needed him to do to keep this game going. It was so fun to watch, so so special to watch. He outplayed Josh Allen. He outplayed Josh Allen. And I'm not going to sit here and say he's a better quarterback than Josh Allen, but today he played a much better game than Josh Allen played. Allen threw two picks, should have had three. Also could have had a fumble. I know Wilson put one on the ground as well. Another ball that was up in the air could have been picked. But for the most part, he was decisive with his reads. He was making the smart throw. He was even making some tough, tight window throws. You know, he was featuring Garrett Wilson. It, it, it sucks that they can't get Elijah Moore any targets. But Denzel Mims, huge catch towards the end of the game uh, in, that, in that goal line set. But Garrett Wilson was featured all day. He was making pretty much every single catch that he could get his hands on. Uh, a lot of tight window throws. The chemistry with those two has really taken off. You'll love to see it. But you really love to see the ground and pound at the end of the game. Jets get the ball back. Seven minutes left. And the Bills don't get it back until a minute and 40. And then that three, that up three points, that's usually where the Jets' defense collapses. Instead, they lock it down. Sauce with the deflection on the deep ball at the end. Just pressuring Josh Allen all day. Forcing fumbles, hits. And the, the adjustments that they made on Stephon Diggs, too. That, that can't go um, uh, understated as well. What a friggin' game. I can barely talk. I apologize. This video probably sounds like shit. I don't care. The New York Jets are 6-3 and three heading into the bye week. They are a legitimate playoff contender. Patriots at New England for a shot at 7-3 and three in two weeks. Can't wait. Let's go.